Now let's take a look at the two extra tools that we have here. First of all, we have a view cube. If you don't have the view cube available in your 3D shot, just take a look at the view tab, which I'm already on right here in the user interface. And there's actually a button at the very top. There's a box for view cube. So when you turn it off, it disappears out of your screen. And if you want to back on, there it is. The view cube is a miniature representation of your model. It gives you some north, east, west, south indications, and it gives you some highlights as you hover over the view cube. So when I click on the left, for example, the model will spin towards the left side of the model. Uh, I can click these little arrows on the right and it will spin around to the front, or I can even click on sides or corners of that cube and it will spin the model accordingly. So those are some quick shortcuts to certain um, axon views that you can take a look at or isometric views. Next to that is a, is a palette called the uh, navigation palette. And in that, we actually have a wheel and we have some zoom tools. Once we activate the wheel, it follows our cursor around on the screen. But you can, for example, use the same thing as holding the shift key down and using the middle button. You can click orbit, and orbit does exactly the same thing. It lets you spin the model around. Uh, you can center it, which brings the model more center in the screen. Uh, and do things like panning. So some people prefer to use the keyboard and the mouse, and some people prefer to use this tool. This wheel tool becomes very useful once you get into a perspective view. I'm going to take a look at a perspective view of this model right now, a camera view. And this would be the front corner with some color on it of, of the model. Let me quickly turn off the shadows here. So in this 3D view, I can actually rotate around and I can use that same navigational tool. I can use the same tools that I did before. For example, if I hit the shift key and I hit the middle button, I can rotate this model around, as you can see, the same way I did before. I can zoom in and zoom out on the view. Uh, but I can also use this navigation uh, tool right here, the navigation wheel. And there's a tool, for example, called walk. And when I click on that and hold down my mouse, I can actually push forward on my mouse and I can walk around and navigate through my model. So these are some of the things that help you navigate through your Revit files.